Investing is a way to set aside money while you are busy with life and have that money work for you so that you can fully reap the rewards of your labor in the future. The legendary investor Warren Buffett defines investing as the process of laying out money now to receive more money in the future. Investing in the stock market is the most common way for beginners to gain investment experience. It's a complicated world with so many charts and numbers. It's easy to get confused, so let's break it down and try to make sense out of it. Whenever a company wants to expand, it needs financing. One of the options is to break the company down and go on the stock market, called initial public offering. Theoretically, when you buy a stock, you become the owner of that company which means that you, like any other owner, have the right to the profit of the company. I can still remember the feeling when I bought my first stock a couple years ago. It was a Coca-Cola stock and I said, hey, I am a co-owner at Coca-Cola now. Why don't you join me now to a travel back in time to 1919 when was the initial public offering of Coca-Cola shares. Each of them was in worth of 40 US dollars. Can you guess how much would it worth if your grand-grandmother or grand-grandfather would have bought one of those shares? Each of them would be worth 415,000 US dollars today. But do you think that I bought my Coca-Cola share for 415,000 US dollars? I wish I'd had that money, but uh, actually not. I bought it for uh, almost uh, 50 US dollars and today's price is almost uh, 45. But what is the reason that stands behind that? Every time the company's shares are getting too expensive and the investor can't afford it, the company could decide to make a stock split. This is the same like uh, when cutting uh, one pizza in six equal parts. So each of the stocks remains at the same value, but now divided in six equal parts. So instead of owning one share for uh, let's say 100 US dollars, now you'll own 5 shares for 20 US dollars each. So basically nothing changed for you. But wait a minute, why do we actually buy stocks? Of course for profit. First we have capital gains, we hope that the value of our stocks will rise in the future. But of course it could get to zero if the company gets bankrupt, so there are some risks involved, like in any investment. And second, we have the dividend payment, which is my favorite source of passive income. Like we said, when purchasing a company stock, we become co-owners of the company. And this means we get part of the profit of this company as a dividend payment. Is it equal divided to all of the shareholders? No, this will be earnings per share, which is another indicator. But we get a dividend payment which is decided by the board of directors of the company. Those people have different targets than making the investors happy. So they, will, they could decide to keep some of the money inside of the company or to increase their own salaries. But don't be too critical to them. You will do the same if you were on their place, be honest. But then there are other type of companies who are about to go bankrupt. But the board of directors decides to pay out attractive dividends. So don't decide whether to invest in a company or not just according to the dividend they pay. So how do we actually decide which stocks to buy? First, there are two types of analysis, quantitative and qualitative analysis. The quantitative analysis is comparing the numbers. So for example, when you look at the income statements, balance sheets, cash flows, comparing current valuations and historical valuations. And when we talk about qualitative analysis, this is like uh, understanding the complete idea that stands behind the company, understanding the strengths of the company, who is the competitor, what do we expect in the future. I will leave some information resources about the quantitative and qualitative analysis in the description below. So once we have decided in which stocks to invest, you have just one step before acquiring it. You need a brokerage company. First, you have to compare the brokerage companies and their commissions. All of them have some commissions that you have to pay and after you sign the contract with them, you can start investing and acquiring your shares. My personal favorite here is Revolut, which is an innovative banking solution and I can make 3 stock uh, operations a month for free. Before starting your stock market investment, keep in mind those simple rules. First, the most important investment that you could do is the investment in yourself. Second, always pay yourself first. Third one, make an investment plan and keep to that. 
Fourth one, long term consistency always beat short term intensity. Remember the guy at the gym with the six pack? Do you think that he got the six pack at the first day of his training? No, he got it with a lot of work and consistency. So thank you guys for watching my video. You can subscribe to my channel to get another information about investing and personal finance. And see you next week with my next video.